Welcome back to another Fusion tutorial. So we've added this hex onto the end of our roller. And traditionally, what I like to do is add a square to this other end. But for some reason, this particular part, something about the geometry, Fusion does not like. And I still haven't figured it out. Um, the same problem occurs in both Fusion and Inventor, in my experience. And it's finicky. So sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Here of late, it's been happening quite a bit. Um, Fusion just doesn't want to let me apply a sketch and extrude a square down into the end of this. Uh, I don't know why, but that is the case. So I haven't yet figured out what that is. But nonetheless, we're going to drive on. One of the next things we want to do, and the final operation for our roller, is to add some color or appearance to it. And it's just a quick discussion about adding colors or appearances. If you go into your Modify tab up here, and come down to the bottom, you'll notice that you have a physical material and an appearance. The difference between these, these both will add um, color or texture to your part. However, a physical material also adds the material's attributes. In other words, in the program, this will actually add, as it says, engineering properties to your bodies and components. So I could tell the computer that our roller is no longer made of steel, but maybe made out of 6061 aluminum, um, ABS plastic, uh, 01 tool steel, something like that. So in this case, we don't need this because we simply want to change how it looks. And you can select appearance down here and you'll notice appearance will add color. You can use the shortcut A. We'll choose appearance. And a large menu is going to appear. And I would suggest that you give yourself some room to work. This is uh, definitely a time when you want to zoom in to, into things that you want to select. You'll notice down here that I have all sorts of different materials. We could pick up colors. We're going to choose metal. And just for fun, we'll choose aluminum. And we'll choose our blue anodized glossy aluminum. What I like to do is click on it and drag it up here into the top where it says in this design. All right, that way it's there if you need it for multiple surfaces. A few different options for you to color. Number one, make sure that your select tool is set to window select. If it's not, choose this little drop down arrow and change it. And if you want to make it all one color, drag a window over it. You notice that the rim is highlighted and then drag and drop your color on it. And that will change everything immediately. If you're planning on doing the bulk of it in one color, I would suggest doing that and then coming back through and changing individual colors if you would like to. So let's find something else. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go down here and let's look for things like paint. Let's see if we can find it in here. So we're gonna choose paint. I'm gonna choose metal flake. And maybe I would like to use I don't know, let's choose black. So we're gonna move black up into our top where it says in this design. And now I can go through and I can choose surfaces that I wanna change. So maybe I wanna paint just the, um, the rings here. Once I've selected them, you need to be careful because as you're moving, you'll notice when I move my mouse slightly, the whole object highlights. You need to be cognizant of that or you'll wind up changing the whole color. So I have those two selected. And when I go to drag and drop, I'm going to make sure that I get just the rings. Pay attention to the difference. And when I let it go, it will change those. On occasion, you might get a message that pops up that asks you about replacing the color or replacing the appearance. Just click yes. Uh, all that's saying is, hey, you already turned this blue. Now you're trying to change it black. You're acknowledging that. All right. But you can go through and do whatever you want. You may add as many colors as you like. So maybe I'll add... I don't know, we could choose brass and find some polished brass. We'll move it up here and maybe we'll make, um, I don't know, we'll make the insides of the, the uh, V. We'll make those polished brass, just like that. And you could continue on as, as you need. And remember, you can flip your, uh, your drawing around with your view cube as well. So again, all this does is changes the appearance and by the way, if you were to move into the rendering phase, these will come out looking fairly realistic. Um, the, the graphics in this program are pretty good. So with a little work, you can make them look real. But uh, I found that middle school students really like to color 
uh, these different things up, it's a good chance for them to practice selecting as well. So you may go ahead and color that as needed. And once you've done that, I would suggest that you hit Command S on your keyboard just to do a user save to kind of lock it in. 